Hello and good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome to another action-packed edition of PPW's High Voltage right here all across Northeast Pennsylvania on WYLN-TV and worldwide on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Big Sean Kramars. I am your host for the evening, and boy, do we have a night of action planned for you, ladies and gentlemen. You are not going to want to miss a minute of it, so strap up right now because it's coming, folks. First off, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the awesome stuff we got planned for you tonight... Aerial Assaults in the books. My goodness, what an event, folks. When you come out to Signature Training Academy for a PPW event, ladies and gentlemen, you are guaranteed to have the best time. And last night, of course, we proved that like we always do. And folks, you want to stay tuned to this upcoming month here on PPW High Voltage. Because as per the usual, we are going to bring you the whole event in pieces throughout the month. And judging by the crowd's reaction to the show last night, this is going to be must-see TV. But moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, September 11th is a date you want to mark on your calendars. PPW is back with the anniversary, coming at you live, again, from Signature Training Academy. And this month's card, my, my friends, is going to be incredible. We have Rachel Eldering coming in. We have Ace Austin from Impact Wrestling. We have Enzo and Cass XL coming in. And also, the very first independent contest for Matthew Adams, formerly known as Buddy Murphy. Folks, this is going to be a month of action you don't want to miss. So make sure you take advantage. Head over to PPWWrestling.com. Get your tickets before there aren't any left. Because, ladies and gentlemen, trust me, these are going to sell super fast. And you don't want to miss the opportunity to be a part of history and our anniversary. All right, folks, so make sure you get that done. This week on, on High Voltage, though, the action, like I said, is going to be hot and heavy. We've got a championship match in our main event tonight. Andy Hatter, nobody better, the PPW WYLN TV champion, is going to defend his championship against Nolo Katano, a returning Nolo Katano. That's going to be an awesome fight, folks. You're going to want to stay tuned for that one. And in addition, we have some newcomers coming in here. Uh, a couple PPW debuts. Uh, we have a contest between Mad Dog and Timothy Theory. That's going to wow you guys for sure. And last but not least, as is tradition here on our fourth week of television for the month, we're going to bring you a PPW throwback. You're going to see the hybrid Sean Carr battling Sam Adams from Throwdown on 5th Street back in 2019. Folks, with all of that, trust me, you're going to want to stay right in that seat, get some popcorn, get some drinks, bring your friends. Ladies and gentlemen, High Voltage is taking off and it starts right now. We'll see you later, folks. And after an impressive, perhaps one of the most impressive PPW debuts of all time, Encore has been given the opportunity of his career as he was entered into the PPW Heavyweight Championship Tournament. There was an empty spot, and Encore impressed the up, upper brass at, at the PBW headquarters so much they granted him a spot in this tournament to see what he could do. They're gonna reset it, there it is, there's the bell. Two, three, one, and one set it at the upset. Encore advances for the next round of the PBW Heavyweight Title Tournament. Well, but what an upset we have seen here tonight. Brad is not happy about that. This is a three count, you were down. He came back, he restarted the match. The sun caught, and he is tired of it. PPW fans, welcome to this YouTube exclusive matchup between Mad Dog and 
a newcomer here to PPW, Timothy Theory. Folks, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell us what you thought of this match. What do you think of this matchup? Uh, this is gonna be a great contest. I've seen Timothy Theory before. Can't wait to see it. And it's exclusive to YouTube. Absolutely, you're not gonna see this one on WYLN, you're not gonna see it on Facebook, you're not gonna see it anywhere else except YouTube, folks. So hit that subscribe button. Timothy Theory, 225 pounds, calls the Pocono Mountains home. Got a note that's by way of Canada. And we're joined here by... Timothy Theory, a great athlete. Look at that athleticism on display. We're gonna, we'll be joined here momentarily by Fast Freddy Akers. I'm joined here with Cody in the booth. Folks, welcome to the PPW High Voltage YouTube channel, and here is Freddy Akers. Freddy, how's it going? I'm doing good, thank you for inviting me out here again. Why don't you tell us a little bit something about these two young men? Well, I don't know much about Mad Dog, but I do know about Timothy Theory. He has wrestled um, in New Jersey or up and down the East Coast. Uh, but he hails, originally he's from Canada. So he was able to cross the border and now residing in the Poconos. Absolutely, I was looking over my match notes here and mentioned he was from Canada. Our friendly neighbors to the north here. Some of the best wrestlers of all time have come from the great nation of Canada. But as of right now, he's calling the Pocono Mountains, the great state of Pennsylvania, which we all call home, in the beautiful, beautiful northeast part of the state here. Look at this, our ref checking both men. It's almost time to get things going here. Our kickoff match, YouTube exclusive. Looks like they're just gonna start this one out with a test of strength. Very evenly matched opponents. What do you think there, Cody? It's very evenly matched. Timothy Theory. I don't know who would have the strength advantage in this one. We're gonna see right here, Greco Roman knuckle lock. As both men jockeying for position, a knee to the midsection by Mad Dog. I was looking to watch Mad Dog's manager, JD, along at ringside as well. Freddie, what do you know about him? We've never I, seen him here before. I, I know he, he managed quite a few wrestlers in uh, New York as well as New Jersey. I've came across him in New York. Um, but, uh, you know, he always kind of, sometimes he rubs me the wrong way. I'll just leave it at well, that. Well, this is a family friendly show, Freddie. I, I don't need to hear about my what happened in New York. No, you're taking my words out of context. We don't need to get kicked you off. He just said it. What do you mean out of context? You're we, don't need to get kicked, we don't need to get kicked off of YouTube there, Freddie. I didn't say anything bad. Look at this. Both men exchanging head, side headlocks here. Timothy Theory looking for an escape. Uses those ropes to his advantage. Turned his back at the wrong moment there. Got sent to the mat by Mad Dog. And you know what? This crowd firmly behind the Pocono, the man from the Pocono Mountains. And he fed off the energy of that crowd. What do you think there? Oh, I think he does. This is hometown crowd. He loves it. They love him. They're showing his appreciation. And there's a lot of people here, as you can see. Yeah, so I mean, they're asking for more. I think we're out of chairs. It's absolutely stifling. Standing room only. You can see them lined up in the back, folks. I know you can't feel this heat and humidity through your computer. Look at shoulders down. Talk about the heat here. There's action right in front of us. Timothy Theory got the advantage now and has not given it up. Mad Dog nice. going to rush him into the corner there. Nice headlock. You can see both these men know their way around the squared circle. This may be their debut at PPW, but obviously this is not their first match. And now JD there getting involved. 
JD. I heard he's coming over here later. I, you know, yeah, see yeah. what I'm seeing I here. That too. I don't know how I feel about this guy. Folks, let us know in the comments if you ever seen this guy around, what you think of him, and what you think of his antics right here. Look at that hard Irish whip by Mad Dog to feel that into the anyway. corner. Definitely gonna feel that. See a very aggressive style here from Mad Dog. Oh, very relentless. He does not give an inch. I wonder why they call him Mad Dog. Well, I was just gonna get to that. His style's almost like a pit bull. He just keeps coming at you. Doesn't once he latches on, he doesn't let go. That's what I was thinking too. Definitely pit bull style. Well, great minds think alike there, Freddie. That is true. How about the body slam? How about the power on that slam? Look at that, came up short. Went for the back body. Oh, watch it. Oh, big lariat from Timothy Theory. He's back on his feet now. He's back to the vertical base, and this is a completely new matchup. Timothy Theory. Oh, no. I don't know if he caught him all the way with that one, but it was enough to take him down to the mat. Oh, look at that, Mad Dog was caught right on the knee. It was enough, oh, come on. Ref, come ref, on. Come on, ref, don't you not see this? And oh, oh, JD goes down. Commentators row. Action here. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? High risk, high reward. And that one came back to haunt Timothy Theory. Good night. Welcome to PPW. This crowd does not like that one bit. That was not a fair win. But hey. What the ref doesn't see, the ref can't do anything about. Mad Dog wins by hook or by crook, and this time it was by crook. Very impressive debut by both these young men. I'm sure this is not the last time we're gonna see them. Folks, thanks for watching here on YouTube. Like I said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and most of all, stay tuned. Full episodes, Upload it regularly here on the High Voltage channel. going on in the PPW women's division some of you may not so let me just catch you up to speed let's rewind a little bit this past June PPW we have our return show hundreds of people great matches I get my one-on-one -on -one shot with Christina Marie for the women's title but did I win it that night no no I did not and do you know why I still don't know why to be honest but Someone known as J.C. Storm decides to just wander into the ring, disrupt our match, and attack us for no good reason. Fast forward. July, last month. Now we're in a four-way match. Notorious Mimi, Christina Marie, J.C. Storm, and yours truly, Adina Steele. Now all of us are fighting for this belt for some odd reason. But you know what did happen that night? I came out victorious. I pinned J.C. Storm. Makes sense. It's only fair. But now, here we are. And this coming Saturday, August 14th. That's August for you, J.C. I know you keep getting confused. Now, I will be across from you in the ring. Nothing to blame your losses on. No excuses this time. And I see and I hear all the smack you're talking. <laughs> and it's pretty entertaining because from what I've seen, you cannot back it up in the ring. Well, this Saturday, honey, I'm going to shut you up.
Welcome back to PPW High Voltage. Sean Carr and the car insurance policy. Lamar Hawkins on his way out to the ring. EJ Kuiper joining me here on commentary. And EJ, we've seen Sean Carr just last month take out Brian Pillman Jr. And now tonight. With an asterisk on that. Well. Phil Bravado, an asterisk on that win. Well, that's, that's fair to say. That's fair to say. Sean Carr taking on Sam Adams tonight. Sam Adams winning a shot at the PPW Heavyweight Championship. We went off the air just a couple episodes ago with Sam Adams up in the crowd, making friends all over the place. I hope you enjoyed it, because as far as I'm concerned, that's the last celebration he'll have for a while. Sean Carr's walking out of here with the PPW Heavyweight Championship tonight. You can never count Sam Adams out. Who is this coming? What is going on Who's with this, this guy? guy? Is this kid lost? Should he be on 5th Street? Get on the other side of the... You belong on the other side of the guardrail, you mark. Get out of here. On your scooter. What's he doing out here? Oh, PPW underdog graduate Drew Adams out here. Sean Carr's pandering to the crowd, telling everybody to shut their mouth. What a wicked turn this young man has taken over the past few months. What are you talking about? Well, we know this music, EJ, the Puerto Rican. Sam Adams coming down to the ring. As you can see, all the Puerto Rican flags flying everywhere here in Hazelton. Adams is excited. This is an opportunity he has been looking for. He's earned it. Now he's just got to go out and prove to himself and to everyone else that he can Adams take that title. Ready. He is ready for this. I saw him talking in the back. He is determined. He is ready for the shot to replay what he believes is right to him. Well, we've highlighted almost at exhaustion how he's come out. Beat Nunzio. Beat Petey Williams. Beat James Ellsworth. He stumbled against Scott Steiner. We'll give him that. But Sam Adams has been very impressive in the last year and a half, trying to get back up this ring. He finally got it. And now he's got Lamar Hawkins out there eyeing him. And he's got Drew Adams out here. And I don't know what the heck he's doing. Best thing Sam Adams did was get rid of Diablo Romo. 300 pounds of extra baggage that Sam Adams did not need. Well, that was back in September, and since then, Sam Adams has had a great career so far. Diablo Rojo getting in the way of Sam Adams, as far as Sam Adams is concerned, anyway. And he was also getting in the way of that nice foot coat. What do you think that is, me? I think he ran that thing over on the way here. Well, we are in Hazelton. We have quite a few coyote problems. It doesn't look like it anymore. It's looking at Sam Adams' shoulder. No, that took at least six or seven of the coyotes to make that coat. Well, Holbert's going to hear it. Careful with that coat. How does Shaw, how does how does Paul Bow make an announcement with Sam Adams jumping all over the place? What concentration, what a professional. Sean Carr's gonna hear it from Hazleton once, once a hero here, and now completely despised. Sean Carr's been coming around these parts a long, long time, first with Team CK, and then the past couple years on his own, steadily climbing up to the PBW Heavyweight Champion position. But what, 
At what cost? It cost him who he was. Some would say it cost him his soul, Phil Bravado. Well, I've known Sean Carr a long time, and let me tell you, that doesn't keep him up at night. Well, you know, he's from New York just like you. So. Okay. And here's this guy collecting all the memorabilia that the wrestlers are throwing at well, You us. still got your coat on. It's cold in here. It is a little brisk. That's got about to get heated up now, EJ. Sean Carr and Sam Adams for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. Here we go. Carr mocking Sam Adams' attempt at getting this crowd behind him. And Drew Adams is on another planet. Tell you what, Sean Carr really filled out over the past couple of years. Put on some serious muscle. He looks like a heavyweight champion here tonight. Sam Adams in excellent shape as well here. Adams showed his quickness, and Sean Carr is going to slow this match down. Well, Adams told Sean Carr he sucked. That got a rise out of the crowd. You know, we talk about it a lot. Sean Carr pandering to this crowd. And now you suck, Chance, raining down here in Holy Family Academy. And Carr's going to come out, come behind us. A you suck sign right behind us. Carr did not like that. Didn't appreciate that at all. Shaw Carr back in the ring. Looks a little more focused now. Seems like the crowd got to him a little bit. Carr showing the aggression. Not going to give a... Not going to give a clean break. Sam Adams couldn't have expected that. Sam Adams, Sean Carr having a war of wars here. Sean Carr one step quicker than Sam Adams on that exchange. Sam Adams with the side headlock as the champion in firm control here. Referee Jim Holbert, no stranger to Sean Carr or his antics. Carr's going to have to try a little harder to get the upper hand if he wants to do it. And Sam Adams is ready for him as well. A couple of hip tosses. Or sends Sean Carr outside the ring. Carr's going to collect himself and clear the cobwebs out. Sam Adams getting this crowd behind him. He didn't need any help. Absolutely not. This crowd loves Sam Adams. He is an absolute fan favorite here. And for a Indeed. bonus, they hate Sean Carr. Absolutely. What a fall from grace Sean Carr has had over the past few months with the PPW universe here. Fall for grace. He walks in with the title. Well, just because you have the belt doesn't mean you act like a champion. Reversal, Carr goes into the railing. Rolls back in the ring. Sam Adams stalking Carr right on top of him here. And Carr gains his composure here just in time. Carr stopping a mud hole in Sam Adams and walking him dry as the saying goes. Now CJ, that's not technical, but guess what, it's gonna work. It's still going to restrict the air. It's going to work for five seconds till it's illegal. Yeah, but it pays dividends later on. Car rolling out, using the momentum to his advantage. Sam Adams just cannot get the upper hand on the champion here tonight. Everything Sam Adams has thrown out, Sean Carr has an answer for it. And if he doesn't, Lamar Hawkins is not too far away. You always got to keep your eye on him. He's keeping his eye on everything in the match. Arguably the most focused person in Hazleton. Well, that's not hard. Bravado. Big suplex from Sam Adams. Holds on. Looks like he's going to go for another one here. 
And here we go, third time is the charm. Well, Sean Carr's gonna roll out of the ring smart, showing his veteran status there. You can't pin the PPW Heavyweight Champion when he's outside the ring. Sam Adams knows that, and he's gonna go out to get him. Wow, Adams over the top rope! On the shot. Beautiful plancha there from Sam Adams. Hawkins. Not something you see every day for Mr. Goodluck. You're absolutely right, pulling out all the stops. Good point, EJ. And look at Hawkins stand in between him and his client. Now this is ridiculous. Well, that's why you bring somebody. Oh, and look out, Carr. It's called cheating. It's not called insurance policy. It's called che cheating. Well, you call it what you want. Holbert's not calling it cheating yet. <laughs> The small of the back hitting that steel frame of the ring. And Sam Adams is showing you just how much it hurts. Car stalking Sam Adams. And now, gonna look right at Jim Holbert. I know I'm breaking the rule. Car doesn't care. In fact, he told me he doesn't care much about anybody or anything as long as he keeps that title and he's heading a couple hours north. He doesn't care. Carr wants to know who sucks now. You know what? That championship, it makes or breaks a man. They either embrace it and rise up to the mantle of champion or they let their ego take control. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with Sean Carr. Look at the strength with the beautiful vertical suplex from the high bridge, Sean Carr. Carr perhaps wouldn't have taken a couple seconds to mock how easy this was going. He probably could have been out of here by now. Smart move by Sean Carr. Getting him into a hold. Giving himself some time to think about what his next offensive flurry will be. Sam Adams trying to get back into this, trying to get the crowd back into this. Sam Adams fighting back with everything he has. Right hand to the gut, big lariat. Sam Adams back in this one. The heavyweight championship within his sight here, within his grasp. Oh, look at that smile on Sean Carr's face. Knows he just outsmarted Sam Adams and Adams is clutching that left leg. He better not show Sean Carr a weakness because Sean Carr will exploit that quicker than anybody. Sean Carr choking out Sam Adams. It's looking real good for the hybrid right now. Sam Adams trying to recollect himself and that's not gonna get anywhere. Here we go, Sam Adams, not in good shape here. Well, Smart position to be in for Sam Adams. He cannot be pinned or submitted while laying under that bottom rope. Just as good as having your hand on a rope. Well, Carr's gonna bring him back in and inflict more damage. Carr's still playing to the crowd, still trying to gain their approval, not going to work. And now he's just outright mocking him. Perched up on the top, Sam Adams sees this match slipping away. He needs to do something, and that's exactly what he needed to do. Beautiful reversal for Mr. Goodluck. Hopefully his luck will be changing with that counter. Sam Adams really digging deep here. He knows heavyweight championship opportunities don't come by too often. Sean Carr lining him up. Sam Adams has seen that before though, scouted it with an elbow. Desperately trying to keep Sean Carr away. And now Sam Adams is gonna go to work. Ooh. 
beautiful rock bottom from Sam Adams. That was so close to having a new champion. I had, I was breathtaking there, Phil Bravado. I was speechless. I thought we had a new champion. Well, Sam Adams stalking Sean Carr. He'd still like to have a new champion. And he sees how close he is. Oh, pop-up powerbomb from Sean Carr. Sam Adams not in a good position here. Eats a knee to the face. Big suplex, that could be it. Smart move by Carr to go right for the pin. Carr cannot believe that Sam Adams is still in this match. Carr taking a couple seconds. And now he's gonna tune up the band, EJ. We've seen it many times before. Sam Adams hears that stomping but doesn't know where it's coming from. Adams dodges it. John Jacker from Adams plants the champion. Adams right back in this one. Gonna go for the cover. Could we have a new champion? And come on. Lamar Hawkins puts Sean Carr's left leg on the bottom purple rope. Hawkins showing his value right now, keeping his number one client in this match. I, I hope Sean Carr is paying Lamar Hawkins a lot because this is absolutely ridiculous. Well, look, the guy's got car insurance policy written on his shirt, all right? And yeah, wait, look out. go join Geico? Wait a minute. Hawkins. Hawkins gets kicked off by Adams trying to distract. Adams has look had enough out. of that. He has had enough of Flying Hawkins. Right at us, CJ. Lamar Hawkins down. Sam Adams on top of him. Sam Adams taking matters into his own hands here. You know what, enough was enough, but we're gonna have to see, that may have cost Sam Adams more than it, what it was worth. Adams going up to the top, Carr sees him trying to get to his feet. Caught him with the super kick. Here we go, two, three. Got him. Mar Hawkins was the wild card in that matchup. Sam Adams took the bait, fell for the ruse, and it cost him that matchup. representing pure professional wrestling for the past couple of years for this company. And if you think you're going to come here and disrespect with your goofy pee-pee-poo-poo -poo bullshit, Erica Lee, you got another thing coming. <laughs> I'm going to force you to take this business seriously. Come on this bitch. So here comes Noel Catano. Is that a sword? 
I think that's a sword, yes. Is that allowed? That's not allowed. I, I, I don't know. I don't make the rules here in PPW. That's all Paul Bo's job. And Freddy's. But nobody explains, likes Freddy. Explains a lot, actually. This guy is a pain in my side everywhere. I swear he follows me around. I'm getting sick of seeing him. I mean, you might have your opinions about Andy Hennig, but you gotta admit he's a great athlete. Eh. He, he beat Johnny Moran in two seconds. Eh. All I know is I personally just don't like the guy. Oh, finally we got a little bit of professionalism out here. Cool. Sort of. All right, here we go, guys. WYLN Television Championship up for grabs. Andy Hedder taking on Noel Catano. We have Paul Bo joining us, so I at least have somebody confident. Yeah, I All said right. it. Hey, can, can, can we get rid of him? Is that possible? It's not possible right now. Why would you want to? There we go. I'd like to point out he still has the sword. Oh yeah, he probably should put that down. Oh no, he's now, now Hedder's got the sword. You're not gonna use that, are you? He better not use it. What is he doing? That's his property. Did you just steal that? Oh, ow. Big there shot. You. Big shot by Catano. Send him for the right. Nice deep arm drag by Header. Oh. Oh, double underhook by Header. And don't forget, this is the Andy Header that beat Johnny Moran in two seconds. Yeah, you said that. Reversal by Header. Ducks the line. Samurai Header goes for the springboard. Oh, nice lucha arm drag by Header. Samurai back into the corner. Nice sequence. Ooh. Header with the running bulldog, planted him in the middle of the ring, shoulders down, hooks the outside leg. One, two, oh. kick out. Thought he might have been out. Andy Header trying to get the fans riled up here. Header tr trying to get this crowd behind him here. Don't forget, hot in here tonight, guys. The ropes, everything. It's very hard to prove any of these high-risk maneuvers. But Header throwing caution to the wind, going up top. Well, he is a risk taker, I'll give him that much. I want to know whose idea was it to put me in a polo in this heat. Ow! Oh, oh, nice oh. double drop kick Huge by the move. Samurai. You can collect your teeth in the second row. What a move there, athleticism. And a, oh, what a chop. Big chop. He hurt hand. his hand. Another, oh. oh, knife edge chop Another one. by Header, or excuse me, by Catano. He's hurting his own hand. I would stop doing that. Well, you're also not a professional athlete. He's setting up here. Sends him for the ride. Uh -oh. oh, beautiful Mexican head scissor takeover by Catano. Oh, oh, double knees right to the face. Boy, Catano's quick. They both are. Oh, oh. man. Plants him down, shoulders down. Might be One, it. One, two, new champion. Oh. oh, thought maybe. Two and three quarters there. Got to have to do a lot more than that to keep Andy Hedder down. Wish Andy Hedder would just stay down someday. Gatano feeling it here. Could be a new champion born here tonight. It's very possible. And only in Andy Header's first title defense. Sounds about right. Absolutely, first title defense for Header. Oh, ow. I think I felt that. Knife edge chop right across the oh. chest. 
Header reciprocates with one right there. Ow! Are you we hearing got, these? We got a chop fest. How are these two standing? Oh, oh man. He's like challenging them. Why would you invite that? All I know is uh, Ric Flair would be proud. Oh, oh man, you can just hear the flesh. Oh, another one. These are stiff. He's gonna break his hand. Header's gonna send it for the ride, no reversal. Went oh. for the drop kick, no water in the pool. And Andy Header looks, looks like he's about, he's gonna end it. What, what is this idiot doing? Like cheering on his opponent. I don't understand. It's called sportsmanship. You wouldn't know anything about it. Well, you don't need sportsmanship in a competitive sport. Knee cut him off there by Catano. Jaw jacker by Header. Header oh. with the you neck know. breaker there. Catano has no idea where he is right now. See the glazed look over in his eyes. Looks like EJ on a Friday morning. The now light. referee Tommy Pro starting to count. Lights are on. Nobody's home. And remember, if the referee does get to 10, Andy Header retains the championship. Which that might happen. Header back to his vertical base. First one up, has him sized up. Wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, man. And here comes Andy Header. Has him up. Oh, no. Oh. That might do it. It's over. Cover. No, he kicked out. How did he kick out of that, Paul? I will admit the referee was a little slow there. Header, mouth open, gasping for air. Well, he looks like a guppy, just like his pants are like a fish. <laughs> Header's gonna go pointing up top here. High risk, high reward. What's he doing? What is, I don't trust this guy. Up top. You can't keep him up there, Kenny. He, he, he's trying to. Gets him up in the electric chair there. He's actually doing something that you, JD, cannot do. Oh, I could do all this. I just choose not to. I'm sure. Look at this. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, oh my God. Show. Try to cover him. That's it. Oh, new champion. And oh, oh, two count. Wow. Thought it was over. Andy Hedder, a fighting warrior. I thought that was it. And it was not. Well, obviously, I see that. Gatano and Hedder, both men going toe to toe for that prize TV title. Good Lord, those kicks. Hedder, Ooh. right to the backbreaker. Oh, oh, man. oh, I think he broke his jaw. You heard now echo through the Poconos. Shoulders down. Oh. Oh, oh, wait a minute. How is he kicking out? It's called having a heart. No, it's called not having a brain. Stay down sometimes. Well, of course, it's not calling a brain to you because you don't have one. I, I'm the most brilliant person here. I doubt that very much. He's getting ready for something. He's preparing. Looks like he's going for the finish. I think he should get a sword. Big European uppercut. Whoa. Went for like a sling blade. Look at this. What? Whoa. What the heck? What in the world? What is going on? He has him up. Let him win for the no. kryptonite crunch. It's it. over. Should have got the sword. Whatever this is. And still, the new television champion, Andy Hitter. Amazing match. Someone's got to take that title off of him. Maybe I'll work on that next time.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to another episode of PPW High Voltage. Remember, head over to PPWWrestling.com for all the latest news regarding PPW Wrestling and all of our upcoming live events. We'll see you guys next week.